For row two, we are going to chain three and then add a puff stitch into the first stitch. But the first stitch is not going to be at the base of the turning chain. It'll be this one right here. So we're going to yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're going to pull that loop up and then we're going to yarn over again. This time I'm using my index finger to hold the loops back, insert the hook back into the same stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, and then we're going to do it one more time. Yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up, and then here I'm going to use my middle finger and thumb to pinch the bottom so that I can yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. From there we are going to chain one to finish the puff stitch, and then we are going to chain three as part of our stitch pattern. Then we will skip two chain, two stitches, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, and then we are going to chain three again. So one, two, three, and then skip two stitches, one, two, and then add a puff stitch into the third one. So yarn over, Hold the loop back either with your index finger or your thumb, it's up to you. Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull it up, yarn over, pull the loop back, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up another loop, hold it back with your thumb again, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, and then pinch, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook and then chain one to finish it off. That'll be our repeat for the rest of the row, and I decided to try something a little different. I'll talk you through all of it. So we're going to chain three, and then we're gonna skip two stitches, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, then chain three again, one, two, three, yarn over, skip two stitches, one, two, Insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, and pull up another loop. Pinch the bottom, yarn over, and pull through all the loops on the hook. Then chain one, chain three, one, two, three, then skip two, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, then chain three, one, two, three, yarn over, skip two, insert the stitch, hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, pinch, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Then chain one to finish it off, then chain three two, three. Then skip two, one, two, add a single crochet into the third, then chain three again, one, two, three. Then yarn over, skip two, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop, and then pinch, yarn over and pull through all the loops, and then to finish it off, we are going to put a double crochet, oh, chain one, then we're going to put a double crochet into the very last stitch right here. This is the turning chain, and I'm going to struggle with it for a little bit because I made my chain too tight. But that's it for row two, and I will see you in row three. If you didn't like me talking through the whole thing, please let me know and I won't do it in the next one. And if you did like it, let me know and I'll do it for the other ones.